Big Plains here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm out on my working table, and this is going to be my first really work in progress video. There will be many of these, but this right here that I'm working on here is going to be the Saturn V. Now this isn't one of those little ones like I built before, or even like the size or scale that the Lego set was. This is actually a legit minifigure scale Saturn V. You can see we sort of have our astronauts here. So yeah, here's this is what I've come up with so far for it. It's fairly simple. This is actually about about a foot wide. And this right here, this sort of grilled and grated part, this is going to be this down here. And so you can see just the sort of size and the scale of this thing. It's quite large. And I came to this conclusion that I would use bricks on their sides using hinges, or I'll just use bricks using hinges all around. You get the round curved effect of the rocket. Okay, first I wanted to actually use this sort of effect where I use slopes on the side, but I found out that that would probably be weak and it probably didn't look that good. So I really didn't want to use it. As you can see, the diameter of the rocket is about 10 inches. Now that is pretty big, but if you think that's big, then check out the height over here. The height is without the launch tower, just the rocket itself, should be around nine feet. And that's, that's pretty large, that includes the launch escape system at the top. But with the tower, it should be over 10 feet. So that's gonna be interesting with our nine foot ceiling. So hopefully that will work out. We also have a similar prototype down here. This is the engine bell idea. It's obviously not gonna be in orange. It's gonna be in dark gray, though I wish it could have been in metallic silver like my B29, but there will be five of these little nozzles at the bottom. They're gonna taper up sort of like a bell. So that's gonna be interesting how to attach those. Now the whole structure the structural part of this rocket is going to be interesting because it's just going to be so big. This is probably the tallest thing I've ever built. I plan to be able to put it in that corner over there, sort of where the chair is. But this is even larger than the than the 747 over there. So this is this is big, and it's going to take a long time to build. Except I'm going to update you every week. I'm going to try to update every week on this. It's going to be big, but I'm going to try to power through it because. It's important that you do that. I almost never abandon projects because I don't think that's right once you've bought pieces. And yes, I have already bought pieces and those should be showing up any day now. So yeah, this is quite large. Like always, please be sure to like this video for more updates and subscribe to my channel to see some of my other awesome builds. I do do very large planes. I sort of dabble in the rockets here and there. As you can see, this is gonna be <laughs> a rocket. So. Yeah, that's really all I have to say for this one. I hope to be able to update you in a couple weeks or maybe a week, I don't know, is when the Brickling things can get here. But I want to be able to build the first stage of the rocket, which is going to be about three feet. It's going to have the, the engines on the bottom and it's going to go up to the about a little bit of foot past where we are now. I just built this sort because I had the pieces and it's going to be sort of an example of where we are. So as always, please sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.